All right, YouTube, had to make this video again because uh, my microphone, <laughs> I did a 22 minute video and my microphone didn't work too really well. Um, so now I have to do this with the phone mic. Hopefully it's loud enough. So um, today's video is gonna be on the ST16 uh, oil filter from Walmart, Supertech. And it's going to be a two-part video because I'm going to talk about Fram because um, essentially this particular filter is a Fram Extra Guard. Um, not all of the Super Tech videos are Fram Extra Guards. Only the, from what I saw, it was the ST16 and the ST5. If they made an ST8, check it, but I haven't seen ST8s in a long time. So... This video is primarily talking about ST16s and ST5, all the other oil filters, such as the 6607 and all the other ones. Those are made good. They're made by Champion Labs. Uh, the E-Core um, design with the plastic cage inside of them, no issues there. Um, so <clears throat> I ended up buying this filter, putting it on my truck, and I noticed that the inside, let me get my flashlight here, when I bought it, I was a little suspicious and I'll tell you why so that is classic right there let me see if we can pull that up and get the focus when I see those ridges and those straight um, dotted holes that are dotted all the way down I know that this is a fram but I gave it the benefit of the doubt, so I was like, I'll put it on my truck and I'll just buy an extra one and cut it open and check. Because um, I said, I don't think Super Tech's going to do that. Well, they did. First time ever. And um, I know there's a lot of people that say, hey, I used the Fram Extra Guard my whole life for over 20 years and no issues. Great, you've been lucky. Um, I'll show you evidence of people that weren't so lucky. But anyway, um, so here's the filter. Again, this is not a, not my typical 5,000 mile oil review, so this is unused. Um, the nitrite rubber here is very flexible right now because it hasn't been used. So that's why it's very flexible. You want flexibility in this. Um, but off the bat, you can tell that this is a Fram filter. It has the typical paper end caps, um, which there's no problem with this. I don't have an issue with it. Um, but then it has its cage. Okay, and then your filter pleats. Doesn't have a metal uh, clamp here, clamping that down, but I guess that's fine. But anyway, some of the issues off the bat when I opened this was um, this is your anti-drain back valve. And right here, as you can see, we have gaps, we have holes. Dirty oil is gonna get through there. Look, we have it here too. Ever so slightly right there. Um, That's not good. It should be like the bottom here. You see how it overlaps? That's how this, this part should be. Because uh, the E-Core, which are the made by Champion Labs, and I'll, I'll give you, I actually bought this Fram Drive. We're gonna talk about this now. This is called Fram Drive. This is actually a good filter. Nothing wrong with the Fram, dri Fram Drive. But anyway, your E-Core design, I'm trying to be quick here, um, has a, pla you see it? It's a plastic cage. And that this this is not made by Fram. Even though it's labeled Fram, this is made by Champion Labs. They make the E-Core uh, design. And a lot of times, Fram used to do that here. They used to have the plastic um, cage. And um, on the ST16, you had the paper end cap. But the paper end cap wasn't as flimsy. And it... It overlapped. There was no holes in them. Never. I've opened up maybe four of those filters and they always came out solid. The quality, production quality is good. Um, so that's Fram. And I guess while I'm here, I'll introduce you to Fram Drive. 
So Fram Drive uh, now has the E chord design. And I'll try to pull this up real quick because I should have had that up, but I didn't. Let me see if I can um, pull it up for you. Excuse me. Give me a minute. Sorry about that. Um, because there, it's a little deceptive with Fram Drive. So, yes, you do have a Champion Lab made front, uh, oil filter here. Um, this is good quality. This is their S, S, uh, FD6607. Now, I try to buy their FD16, which is Fram Drive's version of this from Supertech. And guess what? It did not have the e chord design. It was exactly this filter. It had the same cage and everything. So I left it alone. But what's crazy is that when you go on the website, um, excuse me, it says that the Fram Drive and is saying that it's designed with the plastic um, cage inside the e chord design. But not all of them are, so you have to check them. But this is a good filter. This is how a budget filter should be made, just like that. Now, <clears throat> um, excuse me. So a lot of people, you know, I'm gonna explain to you why this design is no good, okay? I'm gonna explain to you why right now. And why I don't use it. And why I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking that super tech filter off my truck here about maybe tonight or tomorrow morning and then getting another one. So um, let's look at some forms here where Fram filters have failed. Alright. So we're on Bob the oil oil guy here. Um and it states here now this was a couple years ago, but the, the design of the filter hasn't changed for over ten years almost, maybe maybe more than that. Uh, only thing that changed is that they've put a orange silicone anti-drain back valve in it. So it says here, I've had a Fram oil filter that fell. The metal perforating sleeve in the center of the filter uh, partially collapsed. So what they're saying there, and this is happening a lot with the Fram filters. Um, this This here... It, the center piece in here crushes and then it blocks the oil passage. And I'll show you some videos of this on YouTube. Um, but anyway, let's, let's, that's one. All right, that's one. Um, excuse me. A Fram spin on oil filter from a member. Now, this, take this one from a grain of salt because this was hearsay. This is third party. From a member of the Silverwing 600 form had an engine seized due to what appears to have been an internal collapse of a Fram filter. And what form was that? So I make sure I cite it properly. That's the goldwingfacts.com. All right. Um, this is formshybrid.org. And here, there, this is, I think, a Mazda Miata. Um, it, it's going to show you pictures of the center. You see how it collapses a smiley face. Now it's no longer a circle. How that filter collapsed. And what, what happens here is once they collapse, it blocks the oil from, it starves the engine of oil immediately. You won't even know it. The car won't even have time to react to give you a, a warning sign before you spin a bearing or do some internal damage. Okay. So here it is. And this is a newer filter because it has the orange um, silicone drain back valve. And so the other thing too, when this happens to to some of these customers of Fram, um, of course they're gonna call Fram. And I don't have the the article up because I I lost it and I couldn't find it actually. Um, but what Fram does is, once this happens, they ask to you to mail in the filter so they can examine it that is the worst thing you can ever do because you just mailed away the evidence 
and then they'll give what happens is the filter goes and it's probably gone for about a month and they reply back to the customer and they say you know what we've looked at the filter we've examined it and this was not a failure of the filter this is a failure of your oil system or your car and guess what now you got to go to court do you think they still have that filter for evidence nope and they don't have and they're not obligated to give it to provide it either so now it's your word against them so if this ever if you're using fram and this is the extra guard i'm not talking about fram drive or or fram even tough guard or fram um ultra which is a good filter the ultra synthetic one that that's an awesome filter i'm not talking about that I'm, we're talking about fram extra guard um <clears throat> Anyway, so you do not mail that filter in. You immediately go and file civil suit or whatever it is. A um, you take it to court and you file a, a, a you do a claim against Fram, okay? And you keep you get your mechanic statement. You keep your filter and trust me, you're gonna win that case and you're gonna get yourself a new engine. It's gonna take you some time, but you're gonna get your money back. For that engine so do not again whatsoever mail the filter into fram if they ask for it now let's go into some videos real quick uh, let's see what we got here okay so here's uh um let me this video is made by um what's this guy's name father of five is uh who who made this uh, video and, and that's pretty sad because that means he's a father of five and his engine's gone so this is a fram tough guard and let me see if i can expand this a little bit more and what's happened here again the center core of this filter has collapsed Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, right there, the filter collapsed on the inside. You can see right there, the metal piece. And so his filter collapsed. Fram. And that's a tough guard. So, and this happened February 23 of 2021. And he has, again, the new silicone drain back that they're all doing. Let's go to another video. Excuse the, um... Okay, that's Fram Core. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so this video here is from Under Pressure Performance. So there's a backstory here, okay? I've actually had some dialogue with him, and we had some disagreements, and I'll explain why. So the backstory here is that he built an LS engine, put it inside of a hot rod, used the Fram filter on a brand new LS engine because he's a performance shop and the filter collapsed and it destroyed the engine so he's extremely pissed off in this video which I will I will not play audio because um, I don't want cuss words on my channel but I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the links to these videos and sources on my description so you guys um, and ladies can do your own analysis of this situation right so anyway, um, of course, when you put an LS engine inside of a hot rod, you're not going to drive it normal. And w with, with Fram, the extra guard is only for normal daily operations. If you're going to do severe driving, uh, any 
in weather conditions or anything like that, you need to use tough guard or higher. You have to upgrade on the filter. Uh, so there's a fine print, which he didn't read. And I told him that and he got upset. But at the same time, it's like, why would a performance shop use an extra guard filter, a $3 filter? That says more about the shop to me than the filter itself. But anyway, I digress. Um, so let's look at this filter because it takes them quite a bit of a while to open it. Let's go here and let's check out what happened. Oh, shoot. He's still opening the filter. Hold up. And it takes him a long time to open the filter. Anyway, sorry about that. All right. Let's... Uh, So he opens the filter and it is completely collapsed. You see that? That is collapsed. And that's, he lost a, a maybe a $2,000 built engine there because he put a $3 filter on the, on the car. But that is collapsed. That is a collapsed filter. All right, let's um So let's 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 talk about this fine print, right? Let me see if I can pull up a video on uh What is going on with my videos here? Excuse me. I'm going to try to quickly find this video. All right, so it's right here. It came out two years ago, and this is uh, choosing the correct oil filter, and it's by Fram Filtration. So let's see what they say. And I'm trying to make this quick, so. Technical training manager at Fram. We're gonna. Today we're gonna be talking about selecting the correct oil and oil filters to meet the needs of your vehicle and driving conditions. Let's take a look. Fram Extra Guard offers advanced protection for most vehicles for original equipment manufacturer specified oil change intervals under normal daily driving conditions. All right. Let's stop right there. He just said, under normal daily driving conditions. Okay? That's the loophole. You, you got to be careful. If you're towing, you're driving in the winter, or what they, what they claim is a severe weather, and that filter fails, it's no fault of the filter. You didn't read the fine print which is this filter, this extra guard filter is only for normal daily driving conditions. So you're like, well, what do I need to, to tow? To, to like step on it on the highway, you know, a little bit, man, you know? A little bit of uh, acceleration, what do I need? You gotta just bump it up, you gotta bump it up. Let's go to the next filter right here, the Tough Guard. Okay, so you heard them right there. Severe driving conditions, which is towing, extreme off-road, and severe uh, weather conditions. So, you know, and then what's classified as severe weather conditions, right? The desert, and if you're driving in a sandstorm in Arizona, if you live up north near the Canadian border and it's... Uh, seven degrees outside, you have snow. What is severe weather conditions? Driving through a, a tropical storm? You see, the, you see the wording and words matter. So you're, you're, you're putting yourself, you're actually, if you're using the Fram, you have to step it up to the Tough Guard. And we saw a video where Tough Guard failed. So I would actually use 
Um, if I'm going to use Fram, I'm going to use this one. This is a good filter. Or I'm going to use the uh, Fram drive that, again, has the plastic cage inside. Not the metal cage. Plastic cage. Um, and I, I actually like this filter. So that's my my qualms with the Fram Extra Guard and, okay, let's say the Tough Guard too. I don't like those filters for me, okay? So that's why I I say I'm going to get rid of this Super Tech filter. And let's go back here. Um, hey, I'm not putting this in my truck. Okay, I'm getting rid of this because I don't need this to collapse. I don't need that drama right now. So I'm going to go probably right now change this out all right i hope this uh video was informative uh, if you have any questions again just let me know uh, and i'll respond back to you and the other thing i like about this fram drive let me see how much the fram drive cost me hold up before we close out it was 583 not bad price you know not bad price um and what i like too about this this is a 7,500 mile oil filter. It's not doing these claims of like the extra guard and even the super techs. It's doing these outrageous claims of uh, 10,000 miles. You know, this thing, it's being honest. It, this frame drive on this particular filter is being honest. It, I say this is a 5,000, um, 7,000 mile filter. And it's, this is a really nice filter. Fram, if you do, if you sell things like that, it don't matter if this is a $6 filter. People are going to buy it. People are going to buy it. You can get rid of this, this $3 filter. Get rid of it, Fram. I guarantee you, people are going to buy that plus your oil. You're going to make good money. Um, all right. Have a good day, everyone, or a good night, and take care.